Hey, what's up, YouTube? I like to make a really short video to say that there are just certain things that have been on my mind for a long time that are deal breakers. Now, I really don't intend to look for a boyfriend anytime soon, but there are just some really strange ideas that I would like to add to the list of things that I could never accept in a man, you know, other than being shorter than me, which would be pretty pathetic. You know, considering that I'm only about five, three and a half. But there are just certain things in a man that would just be a no-go. And they're kind of strange because some people would consider them pluses. But I consider them minuses for a very complex and hard to explain reason. Okay, one of them is for a man to have blue or light eyes. Now, I know you're thinking, what? Who wouldn't like a blue or light-eyed person? Hmm, what's not to love? Well, I'll tell you. You see, my eyes, just like my hair, happen to be the color of the bodily function that I am obsessed with and have been pretty much all my life, if you watch my other videos. So... It just wouldn't set well with me to be with a man whose eyes are, you know, a beautiful shade of blue or green or whatever color, but yet mine are literally the color of what girls are said not to do. It would be ironic. And, you know, I don't care how many examples you can name me of couples like that that think they're doing just great. You know, like, you know, for instance, Beauty and the Beast. You know, I don't, I don't really care, you know, how many people do it. I just wouldn't want to be one of them. You know, I, I just could never be happy waking up to someone who has blue or light eyes. Like, I've envied all my life, you know, people that have them. No, I'm not going to wear contacts because the corneal ulcer risk is just not worth it. Um, but it just would, it, it would bother me greatly. You know, for someone to have lighter eyes and or hair, you know, I could never be okay with a man who was a former blonde or redhead or, you know, just anyone with hair lighter than mine. No, I'm not going to bleach it. Um, it. It just bothers me because, you know, there's this, this thing, tall, dark, and handsome. You know, most women want a man that is taller than them and darker than them. Well, you know, as a brunette woman, that kind of rules out a lot of guys that aren't quite as brunette as I am. And, you know, the other thing is just, you know, generally I wouldn't want a guy with lighter skin than me, but, you know, I'm not exactly, I mean, it's not to say that I'm into a black guy, because, you know, that is not the case. It's just, you know, because I've just always felt insecure that I wasn't white enough, you know, for whatever reason, like... Because I'm, I'm considered white, you know, for all intents and purposes. That's what every identification card says about me, that I'm white. But some of my heritage is not white, and I don't mean black. But, like, I have Native American and probably a few other races. So I've always felt insecure about not being white enough. Um, so I could never stand to be with a guy who is whiter than me because of the contrast, you see. If a man's skin is lighter than mine, then, you know, putting mine up against his, you know, would make me look no lighter than or even darker than him in the summer if I went out in the sun too much. So anyway, you know, I just couldn't stand to be around a guy, you know, whose skin wasn't appreciably darker than mine, but that doesn't mean black, you know, because there's a lot in between. So, um, but another deal breaker that I just couldn't, I couldn't stand to be with someone who, for whatever reason, has positive thoughts or ideas about who I will call the worst person ever photographed, the worst man in the 20th century. Yeah, that's what it was. The 20th century. He was actually born in the 19th century on Saturday, April 20th, 1889. So I'm pretty sure you'll know who he is just from that. But all I can tell you is butter is to butler what hitter is to his last name. We'll just call him Mr. Adolf. And so I'm pretty sure you know who that is. 
but I just could not stand to be with a man as a friend or a boyfriend or a husband or well, I wouldn't even think about a husband if you know just for a moment he, he, he even considered that this man contributed anything positive to the world other than his own suicide on Monday, April 30th, 1945. You know, if you believe that this man did anything good for the world, then I wouldn't have you on a silver platter, okay? So if you do not declare, you know, that, that this man was evil and everything he did was wrong, then you cannot be my boyfriend, you can't even be my friend. Because, you know, if you don't hate Nazis and people who think like that, well, then you obviously hate me because I'm pretty much the opposite of those kinds of people. So if you're alt-right, you are totally wrong for me because I just, I, I just, I just couldn't live with somebody like that. You know, I'm about like if, if, if alt-right Nazi people were represented by red, then I'm about as royal blue as it gets. So yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't consider myself a Marxist. But, you know, as you can tell from the length of my hair and a lot of my beliefs, well, you know, my interests are not served very well by the alt-right, you know, that wants to keep women barefoot and pregnant and in the kitchen baking their own bread. So, yeah, those are some of the things that I just couldn't, couldn't have. A man that's shorter than me, which is pretty hard to do. A man that's lighter than me and the hair and eyes and skin, you know, or ever was, and a man who glorifies Nazi ideology for whatever reason.